Hi. In set work two, we're listening to the first movement of Mozart's Symphony No. 40 in G minor. A symphony is a large-scale piece of music written for orchestra and divided up into four movements. Symphony No. 40 would be about 25 minutes long, depending on who's playing it, and the first movement is about seven and a half minutes long. The first movement is structured in a way that's very common in the classical era, it's called sonata form. Sonata form is a structure that has three main sections, the exposition, the development, and the recapitulation. It can be thought of as similar to the structure of a play. The exposition is the first section, and it's where the musical themes or the characters of the story are first introduced. In the development section, the characters or the musical themes act out the story. And then in the final section, the recapitulation, the composer will recap the musical themes that we heard in the beginning and bring the story to its final conclusion. Remember, the classical era is all about symmetry and balance. And sonata form is a great example of this. Notice how the three sections form a symmetrical arch. So let's take a closer look at the structure of this set work. The first thing to note here is that there's no introduction. After just three beats, we hear the first musical theme, which is called the first subject. There follows a short linking passage called the bridge, which prepares us for the second subject. After the second subject, Mozart adds another short section to round off the exposition called the codetta. But so that we get to know the themes of this piece really well, Mozart takes us back to the first subject and repeats the exposition again for the second time. As well as cementing the musical themes of the piece in our minds, this repeat also acts to balance the length of the exposition with the final section, which is the recapitulation. After the exposition comes the development section. And here, Mozart takes the material that we heard in the first subject and develops it in various ways that we'll talk about more in later videos. After the development comes the recapitulation, which acts to recap the themes from the exposition. However, the recapitulation is not just a direct copy of the exposition. Mozart extends the bridge passage into a much longer bridge, and the codetta of the exposition here becomes a full-length coda. So let's listen to the set work now, and if you want to have any chance of following it, try and look out for the melody which is usually played by the violins.
Okay, I hope you've got a good overview now of the structure used in this set work. Thanks for liking and commenting on the video and click on the subscribe button below. Bye. Thank you.